Many of us grew up thinking Earth simply circles the sun, while the sun sits calmly at the center of everything. A neat picture of cosmic serenity. Reality. Way messier, and far more awe-inspiring. Zoom out and you'll see Earth isn't just a rock looping a star. It's part of a restless solar system that never stops moving, racing around the sun at about 66,500 miles per hour. 107,000 kilometers per hour. And that's only the first layer. Together with the sun and all the planets, our world hitchhikes through the Milky Way at roughly 136 miles per second, 220 kilometers per second. Think of a cosmic bullet train tearing through space at nearly 490,000 miles per hour. No station, no finish line. To feel what motion really means, picture yourself seated on a plane at a steady speed. Inside, everything seems calm, almost still. You barely sense you're moving, but to someone watching from the ground, that aircraft streaks across the sky. Perspective flips the story of motion. This idea was beautifully laid out by Galileo Galilei in 1632 in his famous dialogue concerning the two chief world systems. What we now call Galilean relativity says there's no absolute stage for motion. Every observer has a valid reference frame and the best one depends on the problem you're trying to solve. On our space voyage aboard Earth, Galilean relativity isn't trivia. It's a compass. Every star, every galaxy, every vantage point gives a different readout of our movement, reminding us how vast and intricate the cosmos really is. Earth's grand trek isn't just a cool fact. It may also matter for life itself. Some researchers propose that cosmic rays from different parts of the Milky Way could have nudged evolution and possibly played a role in past mass extinctions. At the same time, long-term changes in Earth's orbit around the Sun, unfolding over thousands of years, drive major climate swings. That's why our planet has cycled through multiple ice ages and could again. Back to the cockpit. Inside the solar system, things feel orderly. Day follows night, seasons roll by. But the details are richer than a simple circle around the sun. Earth travels on a slightly elliptical path, completing one lap every year. Along the way, we reach perihelion, about 91.3 million miles, 147 million kilometers from the sun around January 3rd, and aphelion, roughly 94.5 million miles, 152 million kilometers, near July 4. Those distances help shape seasons and subtle climate patterns. Earth also tilts. Our axis leans and slowly wobbles. The tilt, obliquity, swings between about 22 degrees and 24.5 degrees over approximately 41,000 years, shifting how sunlight paints the hemispheres. Add in the precession of the equinoxes and changes in orbital eccentricity, and you get the climate metronome known as the Milankovitch cycles, named after Milutin Milankovitch, linking orbital mechanics to alternating glacial and interglacial periods across deep time. Project Far Ahead and, left to nature alone, another ice age would likely arrive in tens of thousands of years. But right now, human-driven greenhouse gases are warming the planet and dampening those natural cycles, complicating any forecast of the next major freeze. Ready to leave the neighborhood? The Milky Way, our galactic home, spans over 100,000 light years a swirling disk of stars, gas, and dust. It turns like a slow-spinning pinwheel, its spiral arms sweeping around the galactic center. Our solar system rides one of those arms, about 25,000 light-years from the core. 
Here, the sun rules locally. Across the galaxy, though, no single object runs the show. Instead, the combined gravity of billions of stars and a lot of unseen mass choreographs the dance. Measuring the sun's motion isn't trivial. Astronomers often track young stars near their birthplaces to triangulate our own speed and direction. The result? The sun orbits the galactic center at about 142 miles per second, 230 kilometers per second, over 514,000 miles per hour, taking roughly 230 million years to complete one circuit. That voyage isn't a simple lap. It blends three motions at once. Radial drift, approximately 5 miles per second, 8 kilometers per second, toward or away from the center. Azimuthal, tangential, approximately 3.1 miles per second, 5 kilometers per second, around the core. Vertical bobbing, approximately 4.3 miles per second, 7 kilometers per second, up and down through the galactic plane. Tiny speeds, enormous timescales, so the distances add up. The sun's path is also elliptical. It ranges from about 25,000 to 28,000 light years from the center. Every approximately 60 million years, it completes a vertical oscillation rising and falling like a cosmic roller coaster. Nearby stars, giant gas clouds, and elusive dark matter all tug on us. Right now we sit roughly 20 light years above the Milky Way's mid-plane. Within a few million years, we'll crest near 300 light years above it, then drift back down. Some scientists have linked these vertical swings to pulses of radiation exposure, and even to extinction patterns, the debated Shiva hypothesis. It's not settled science, but it's a compelling question. Another puzzle. Why do spiral arms look and move the way they do? Two leading ideas, tidal nudges from neighboring galaxies in our local group reshaping the disk. Density waves rippling through the disk, like waves on a pond, compressing gas and dust, kindling star formation, and sculpting the arms. Crossing denser arm regions could expose Earth to more cosmic rays, possibly tweaking climate chemistry or even biology. Research is ongoing. All stars are on the move. We track their slow drift proper motion in arc seconds per year. Combine proper moban with parallax, the yearly shift from Earth's changing vantage point, and we can map stellar distances, reconstruct the Milky Way way's history, identify binary systems, and simulate our galaxy's future. Our journey doesn't end inside the Milky Way either. Like ships at sea, galaxies interact. The most famous rendezvous is with Andromeda. It's barreling toward us at about 68 miles per second, 110 kilometers per second, with a majestic merger expected in roughly 4 billion years, a collision that will forge a new, larger galaxy. The Milky Way belongs to the local group, 50-plus galaxies moving together being drawn toward a massive structure nicknamed the Great Attractor. Our group surges that way at about 373 miles per second, 600 kilometers per second, guided by the gravity of enormous galaxy clusters. Underneath all of this runs a deeper current, cosmic expansion. Space itself is stretching, and the rate is accelerating driven by the mysterious dark energy. Even amid that expansion, we can define a kind of rest frame using the cosmic microwave background, the Big Bang's afterglow. Against that backdrop, the solar system is cruising at about 230 miles per second, 370 kilometers per second. 
By now it's obvious, Earth is anything but stationary. We're a tiny yet remarkable component of a perpetual, multi-layered ballet. First, we loop the sun once a year, generating seasons and setting the rhythm of life. Then, the solar system surges around the Milky Way at approximately 136 miles per second, 220 kilometers per second, steered by neighboring stars, giant gas clouds, and dark matter. Our galaxy travels with its companions in the local group, all drifting toward titanic structures like the Great Attractor, while the fabric of space expands beneath everything. Yes, we're a speck in a boundless ocean, but understanding these motions helps us understand where we are, how we got here, and what might come next in this grand cosmic story. As we finish this cosmic journey, remember, our place in the universe is small, but our curiosity is infinite. If this video sparked wonder in you, don't let it end here. Subscribe now and join our growing community of explorers. Together, we'll unlock more mysteries of space week after week. Tap like, so this message of cosmic wonder can reach even more dreamers across the world. And don't forget to share this video with a friend, because the universe feels even bigger when we explore it together. Thank you for being part of this journey. Until next time, keep looking up.